I would now like to demonstrate to you how to do oocyte vitrification, uh, making use of RapidVit oocyte and RapidWarm oocyte, as well as the equipment needed for the procedure. For oocyte vitrification, you will need the oocyte vitrification kit, which consists of three solutions. The RapidEye straw and device to load the oocytes on. You will need the smart box in which the straw will be contained during the procedure and containing the liquid nitrogen as well as the ultrasonic sealer to seal the straw afterwards. Um, the straw will then be placed in a cane, which will be part of your storage device. The vitrification procedure is performed at 37 degrees Celsius and ambient atmosphere. Aliquot 1 mil of each of the vitrification solutions into a multi-well dish. It is important to maintain this 1 mil volume for each of the solutions. First of all, it may change the osmolality of the solutions if you use less than 1 mil um, and secondly, the temperature of the solutions can be maintained much better if you use one mole. Uh, if the temperature is going to fluctuate, it will affect the permeability of the cryoprotectants, and that can ultimately affect the survivability of the oocytes. When you start the vitrification procedure, place your oocytes in the first solution for a minimum of five minutes. Depending on the number of oocytes you have, the procedure will take between 5 and 20 minutes. We recommend, however, that you don't use the dish for longer than 20 minutes. After 5 minutes in the first solution, move your oocytes into the second solution. The oocytes will remain in the second solution for between 2 and 5 minutes. What we're looking for during this step is re-expansion of the oocyte. Make sure that you roll the oocyte during this step to ensure that re-expansion has indeed taken place. During the second step, label your straw and then place it inside the smart box, making sure it is held in position securely by the magnets. This will give enough time for the air inside the straw to cool down. Take the rapid eye and place it inside a non-toxic surface, for instance, a round culture dish, ready for use. When the oocytes have re-expanded or when less than 30 seconds in the second solution remain, make two 50 microliter droplets of the third solution on a sterile non-toxic surface, preferably a culture dish. Prime the pipette with the third solution and move your oocytes into the first droplet. Expel the remaining media outside the droplet and prime your pipette again from the second droplet. Immediately transfer the oocytes into the second droplet. The total exposure time from entering the first droplet to vitrification should be between 25 and 35 seconds. Remove the metal rod from the straw in preparation for vitrification. Collect the oocytes and keep them as close as possible together at the tip of the pipette. Load the oocytes in the hole of the rapid eye without overfilling or underfilling. Immediately place the rapid eye inside the pre-cooled straw and simultaneously hold your hand above to prevent the rapid eye from accidentally popping out. Once vitrification has been done, immediately seal the straw with the ultrasonic sealer. The straw can now be moved into the cane. Make sure that you keep the oocytes under the level of the liquid nitrogen when doing this. The cane can now be moved into your storage system. To warm the oocytes, we need the following. The rapid warm kit containing four solutions, the large forceps to hold onto the straw, a needle nose tweezer to pick the rapid eye out, the cutter to open the straw, and the smart box containing the liquid nitrogen that will hold the straw in position. The warming procedure is performed at 37 degrees Celsius and ambient atmosphere. Use one milliliter of each of the warming solutions to prepare your dish. Once you've identified and located the correct patient's oocytes, place the whole cane inside the smart box inside the liquid nitrogen. Once you've identified the correct straw, pick it out from the goblet while carefully always maintaining the position of the oocytes under the level of the liquid nitrogen. Place it in position in the box. Wipe the top of the straw so that you can clearly visualize the top of the rapid eye. Making use of a large forceps, 
hold on to the straw and then lower the cutter over the top of the straw and cut it just above the top end of the rapid eye. Using a needle nose tweezer you can reach in and carefully grab hold of the rapid eye until you lift it up for about one centimeter above the straw. At this point carefully take it with your fingers and have a tight grip on it. Before you remove the rapid eye from the liquid nitrogen, remove the lid of your dish and in one quick movement, move the rapid eye directly into the first solution. Hold the rapid eye inside the first solution until you see the oocytes come away. The oocytes will remain in the first solution for one minute. After that, move the oocytes through the different solutions following the times on the protocol. Once the last step of the warming has been completed, move the oocytes into the culture dish. Rinse them a few times and leave them in the dish and continue culturing them according to laboratory protocols.